Hello and welcome. Andrew Goodman here. Today I'm going to be sharing my best three tips for getting better at Photoshop or Affinity Photo or really any design package. Let's get into it. Tip number one, work on a project that excites you. You may or may not know that today is a special day or it's a special day for Star Wars fans because of course it's Star Wars Day, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. For the past few years, myself and my kids have done something to kind of celebrate Star Wars Day. We've either made a wee Star Wars video just to share with friends or family, and then starting last year we made a Star Wars poster. This here poster was based on The Force Awakens, and then following on from that, this year we decided to make one based on The Last Jedi. It's a bit of good fun, we get dressed up, we take a few photographs, and then I bring it all into a Findy photo on the iPad. Or if you're watching this, you can also bring it into Photoshop or a package like that. But what really want to get across to you is this is a project that excites me. I love getting the kids dressed up, I love taking some photographs, but then I love bringing it into Affinity Photo. Start to cut out around everyone, start to place them in different positions, different layers, start adding different effects. This is a project that really excites me. I've got a full-time job, it's nothing to do with that. I've got hobbies and I've got interests, but this here is a project that I just can't wait to get stuck into. I've spent several nights over the past week staying up very late, very late, maybe too late, because I just, I just can't stop working on it. Do a project that excites you. If you've got kids, it's a brilliant opportunity to dress them up like I do in my kids, whether they like to or not. No, my kids, my kids do enjoy it. They do enjoy it, honest. Dress your kids up. Could be a Marvel superhero. Bring it into Affinity Photo. Bring it into Photoshop. Start to work on it. Maybe you don't have kids, but you, you like Star Wars. You like Marvel films. Get images from the internet. Start putting them together and just do a project that excites you, that's, that's just for you. Movie posters are really good fun to work on. Look at the original poster, study it, see how you can implement the things the original poster does. It's brilliant, it excites me, it'll excite you, it'll help you learn different ways of doing things and sometimes you don't know how to do something, you look at the original poster and you, you just work it out. So it's a way of learning too and you look back at the end project and hopefully if you're like me you have a bit of a smile on your face and it's a really worthwhile project. Pick a project that excites you. And what might excite you might not excite me. What excites me might not excite you. Maybe you're not a Star Wars fan. Maybe you're a Trekkie. My goodness. Oh. Anyway, pick a project that excites you. Tip number two, set a deadline. So you've picked a project that excites you. The second thing you need to do is set a deadline. The deadline for my project was obvious. Star Wars Day, May the 4th, 2022. Knowing this, I took these photographs a few weeks ago, but it was only really last week where I got stuck into it because I realized I wanted to release this video on YouTube for Star Wars Day, which meant completing the project at least two or three days before. So a week ago, I got stuck in to making this project. To be honest, if it hadn't been for the Star Wars Day, deadline. This project probably would have ran on in the next week, the following and the following month. I've done lots of projects in the past where I've, I've taken photos or I've maybe started them but I've had no fixed deadline and that really puts you back. Star Wars Day was my deadline. It's brilliant to have a deadline. So the project had to be done for Star Wars Day. That really motivated me and as I said before it made me stay up a few late nights, a few later nights than I should have had. But again, it was a project that excited me. I enjoyed staying up because I had a deadline. It kind of forced me to work on it a wee bit more. Every year, myself and my family also make a Christmas photo. Normally, we try to make it a wee bit quirky, a wee bit different. And again, I do a photo shoot maybe a few weeks before I want to release it. And then I have a fixed deadline. Christmas is another good time to have a deadline because it has to be done by December 25th. Otherwise, it's just late and the notion's gone off. I've also set deadlines for the first day of school. I've done a first day of school photo, a Halloween type photo, and there's many different things. Setting a deadline is brilliant for motivation to get a job done. If it hadn't been for Star Wars Day, even though I took these photos a few weeks ago, I probably wouldn't have got this project finished in time. Set a deadline. Tip number three, repeat steps one and two. Yep, that's it. Repeat steps one and two. Pick a project that excites you, set a deadline, and go again. Here is one of my first ever Christmas photos. When it was just myself, my wife, and my son, I had an idea to do a, to do a Christmas photo of just ripping off the Home Alone poster. It was a project that really excited me. I had a deadline, and I went for it. Seeing I had so much fun on the Home Alone poster, next year, we went again. And the year after that, and the year after that, and then we'll start doing Star Wars Day. 
We start doing first day of school photos, we start doing Halloween type photos. Little by little, I got better. Hopefully I'm getting better and hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm still getting better. I'm still improving. And that's all you need to do. Pick a project that excites you, set a deadline and repeat those two steps over and over again. And you don't need to do it week after week month after month. It can be several months apart. You know, keep it fresh. Keep it exciting. The main thing is that do something that excites you and what excites you might not excite me and vice versa. And that's okay. But by picking a project that excites you, setting a deadline, going again, little by little, you will get better at your craft. Whether it be Photoshop, whether it be a friendly photo, whether it be video editing or anything, projects that excite you, set a deadline and go again. So there you have it. Hopefully you found this video useful and helpful. And if you did, please like this video, please subscribe, and if, uh, one wee second actually, just, just, just wait there one wee second. Hello there. You will like and subscribe this video. Please feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Happy Star Wars Day and as always, may the force be with you. <laughs> Thank you very much if you're still watching. You've done well to make it this far. And uh, I'm going to show two wee videos, the two wee Star Wars videos I talked about uh, earlier in the video. One was made in 2016, one in 2020 of myself and my son. Just having a bit of good Star Wars fun, a project that excites us. And uh, you can check them out now too. So thanks for watching again and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Seth, what are you trying to do? It's not a re- Hey! Hey, stand back! Don't you dare! I'm your father! Stop it! I'm your father! Ah! Ah, Master Seth. How are you getting on in lockdown? Very well, Master Andre. I'm trying to stay in the best I can. Do or do not, there, there is, is no try. I know, I know. He says. I'm not expecting anyone else. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's the Emperor! The Emperor. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can't you need to turn the audio on. <laughs> we can't hear you. <laughs> he can build a Death Star. But he can't put the audio on! Two Death Stars, two!